So, how y'all doing? Slugmonger. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Jedi Knight. Ah, oh, show you a little serial number if you're interested in it. So this is the 121, or 122-1JK. Double action, Jedi Knight. I had the store actually order this one for me. They got two of them in and sold them immediately. So I, I went in there and I saw that they had one. I freaked out a little bit like, oh my God, I, oh, you know, I want it, I want it, I want it. Uh, but I couldn't drop $300, you know, at that, you know, at that point in time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to come back in for it next week. I came back in for it the next week and they didn't have any more of them. They were out. So I, you know, waited a couple weeks, had them order me one. This one came in, and I am so stoked about this thing. I like the inlay. You can see the way that that inlay is done there. It's not really an inlay. It is just kind of a print on there, uh, but it looks really good. It's got kind of like a UTX-85 profile um, without, you know, just due to the fact it doesn't actually have. It's only got uh, that tri-grip tri on a third of it, third the way up underneath the pocket clip there as well probably like come on guy open the damn thing bam look at that shit that is beautiful they na they nailed the color of blue too you know if honestly if the, i'm not the biggest fan of this color of blue as far as a color goes you know i mean i would never want a car in this like almost sickeningly baby blue but for this knife it works really well i mean i think it looks great uh, especially when you throw it up next to the green one, the Yoda, uh, and then up next, you know, you get all of them together and they just look excellent. Uh, I'm not going to be using this one. This is just going to be a safe queen for me. You can see 416, brand new. Action's great. It's actually a little bit easier to uh, move than the, the Stormtrooper here. It's a little bit easier to actually actuate than the Stormtrooper, uh, but it's still has a uh, fantastic action and i really like this braid blade profile i'm not going to be using this one but i think i may have to get another ultra tech with this same blade profile just because i really like it these little spots on there right there's just, just oil from inside the knife you can see how much oil is on there from that fingerprint i just put on it the finishing is done excellent the grind is very symmetrical except for right up here at the tip you can see it's just off um, just off a little bit and it's consistent to the other side, which makes me happy I mean, because they didn't screw up multiple sides. I mean, that's just one side that was ground a fraction off and it led to that tip not lining up absolutely perfectly. Um, and so they didn't try to compensate. You know what I mean? I, I, I appreciate how this thing has been finished as far as the grind goes. You can see that Duracoat kind of paint. I don't know whether it's a Cerakote. Um, I imagine it is something like that. But that's not scratches there up top. Oh, shit. I'm wrong. Check that out. That's out of the box. See those little scratches right there? Yeah, right there. It's out of the box like that. Seven little holes, man. It's going to maneuver in and out of your pocket very easily just because it's got uh, the pattern actually stops. You can see this is a new tri grip for 2016, and it's the same bottom section. You mean, so they just didn't finish the top. So the, it's still going to slide it in and out of your pocket really easily if you are going to be using this. I don't think anyone is. Too, not too many people who actually got, you know, are buying these Star Wars knives are going to be using them. It's just because combining Star Wars nerddom and Microtech nerddom all together is just a... <laughs> It's just an excellent idea, whoever came up with that one, man. If they come up with a Star Wars, or excuse me, a Star Trek version of any blade, any company out there, do Star Trek, because I will jump all over those, you know, in, in, especially a usable blade, because you can get a lot of Star Wars blades, but they're all crap, you know what I mean? They're like Klingon batliths and mechliths and all this stupid shit, you know? 
Um, it's not feasible. I want to see a Star Wars themed night that's actually feasible, or a Star Trek, excuse me, Star Trek themed night that's actually feasible. Because this is a Star Wars themed night that's definitely feasible. Just want to give you guys a really good look at it and let you know how excited I am. Ha! Ah! No! No! Sickness, man. I'm going to be getting, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get into the LUDT Star Wars, honestly, but I am definitely going to be getting in the uh, Yoda and the, uh, the Sith Lord, the one with the red blade. I'm definitely going to be getting all of the, the Ultratex, the UTX line, uh, just because I think in a case all lined up, it will look fantastic. Yep, that's it. Y'all have a good one. Yep.